Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And I am in the state of Shake and Bake. Haven't had an earthquake yet today, but uh, the past week we had a few. And uh, normally when they see heat like this, uh, there's just going to be one. They say there's no relation. But it seems to happen all the time. So, I don't know. Make your own mind up on that. But anyway, uh, we're going into a deep freeze now. It's down to 104. It was 116 degrees today. And the winds just started coming up. And they're up now to 18 to 22. They were sustained at 22 for quite a while. Oh, now they're 19. So yeah, it's pretty windy out there. But that's okay. That means my wind turbine is helping out. Because when it gets this hot, the solar panels actually become less efficient. But, I still had enough power to run my air conditioner all day. So here in the uh, kitchen, it's actually 97 degrees inside. But uh, in the bedroom, where I have the, uh, one of the air conditioners running on there, I got it down to 87 in there. So it's got 10 degrees difference between this room and that room. Right now, it's actually down to 84 in there. And I was taking a nap because I'm going to have to get up and go out and water plants and trees. But I'm not going to do that in this heat. It'll just evaporate and the wind will just help that along. So I'm going to wait until just about sunset, which is around 8 p.m. tonight. And I'll go out and I'll water everything then. And that way it can drink up its water overnight before it evaporates. Uh, well, it just dropped another degree down to 103. So yeah, we're starting in the cool down now. N another hour and a half and the sun will be down. But uh, I'm going to go outside and uh, shoot some video. The tote koozie was just way too hot to get into today. It was just not... An, an option. Um, the water in the Tokuzi was up to a hundred degrees and I'm not getting into the temperature is at a hundred degrees. That's higher than normal body temperature. That's like cooking yourself. So I spent most of the day inside. Um, for lunch I had ice cream. <laughs> I might do a banana split for uh, supper but uh, Actually, I'm probably going to cook outside for supper and I'll have uh, uh, some chicken with uh, maybe some potatoes and carrots and maybe some green salad with some greens out of the garden. May as well eat them before they wilt because it's hot. I mean, it is hot. And uh, I was taking a great nap in there and then the winds came up and woke me up. And I heard something slamming around out there, so I had to go start grabbing stuff and anchoring it down. Don't usually see winds like that, or this high at this time of year. It's kind of weird. But then again, 116 degrees for a high temperature today. Now they say tomorrow is going to be hotter than today. And they were saying today was supposed to get to 111, it got to 116. So that's an extra five degrees. Uh, tomorrow, they were saying it was possibility of 118. Does that mean 123? Oh my God. If it gets to 123, I promise you I will capture that on uh, a video. I did get pictures of the, the 116 temperature today. But since I don't edit videos, I can't post the pictures uh, on the to, on the uh, YouTube. So, anyway, I'm sure you're tired of looking at this thermometer. So, I'm opening the door. I keep the the living room separate from the rest of the cabin when I've got the air conditioner running in the bedroom. There's no need running it out in this room if I'm not spending any time out here. Uh, I don't want to run my electric bill up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, look at this. The wind's blue. My chicken waterer. Oh man, nice gust of wind. Turn off that hair dryer. 
All right. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got to uh, fill this one up too. I filled up all our others, so they got 10 gallons of water out there. Then I uh, refreshed the water in their uh, wading pools and put some ice in it for them. Uh, because I did lose Angel um, yesterday morning. Uh, she uh, succumbed to the excessive heat. But uh, that's because she was kind of independent from the others. But she was inside that black metal coop. That's where I found her laying on the, uh, the floor. And uh, she had just succumbed to the heat. There was no marks on her or anything like that. The others are all still doing fine, so uh, we'll have to uh, just keep an eye on. I'm going to make sure that they have uh, plenty of cool down. I water their ground inside of there also, and uh, I'm going to try to get out early tomorrow morning and go in there and rake everything down, give them a nice clean surface, and then I'll take about 10 gallons of water out there tomorrow morning before the sun starts getting too hot and I'll soak the ground down because they lay, when the ground is wet, they'll dig holes in there and they'll lay down in that wet hole and they'll keep their bodies cool. So that's what's going on out here. Yeah, the winds are really gusting pretty good. And for those of you interested, they had another big uh, grower bust. They busted another bunch of growers in the towns of, um, Oro Grande and Hellendale, California. So they're going after these guys one at a time and shutting them down. I've noticed there's a lot less um, illegal water haulers uh, with trailers and water tanks and totes on them and uh, small trucks way overweight, you know, like a three quarter ton truck, flatbed truck with uh, five tons of water on the back and the wheels dragging the body. Wow, it's windy out here. Look at that turbine spin up there. Holy smoke. Yeah, it looks slow on here because uh, I think I'm only at 60 frames here, so that's really moving. It's really cooking. We'll head over to the battery room and uh, see what kind of power that's putting out. And the uh, phantom swing is swinging. I'm kind of glad I haven't put out the... Uh, the cushions that Andy gave me for that because I probably have to be chasing those right now. It's just, yeah, these gusts are really weird, but it's hot. Oh my God, is that hot. All right, so let's get over here and see what's happening in the battery room. Well, I'm at 13.5 and I do have air conditioning running inside there. So I'm fine on the power. But, uh, Let's see if we can get over here. When, yeah, I'm making about 267, 240, drop down to 209. So I'm doing a couple of hundred watts of uh, power from the wind alone. It should be higher than that. Uh, oh yeah, I see it getting up over 300 now. But uh, it still should be higher than that. With these winds blowing like they are at uh, uh, 17 to 22 miles per hour, I should be seeing 500, 600 watts out of that thing. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to save my, my dollars, get me another Midnight Classic just to run the, uh, the wind turbine. So instead of coming down and just going straight to the batteries with the wind turbine, I'm going to go through a Midnight controller and uh, pick up some power from there. I uh, adjust the... Uh, the, the curve on that so that uh, I can get the most efficient power out of it. Of course, I could always um, make up that extension cord I've been putting off that uh, will, I'll be able to tie this generator into the main cabin and I can always fire that up whenever I need it. But with the solar panels and the uh, wind turbine, as you can see, with the air conditioning and the, and the ceiling fans and everything running inside the uh, the cabin and of course in this heat the refrigerator runs more often But uh, with all the stuff running that normally runs in the cabin. I'm still at uh, what was it? 13 4 so yeah I'm, I'm doing fine on power And uh, 
love these new panels. I just might have to uh, invest. Oh, I got to clean these. They're filthy. Oh my gosh, are they filthy. That's from the uh, people speeding up and down the road. Uh, the county just came through and used the road graders uh, on, on Wednesday and scraped these roads down nice and flat and level. And all that did was make the same idiots that tore it up in the first place drive faster. And it only took two days for them to ruin the roads again. They were already washboarded. Some people are too stupid to fix. I don't care how much duct tape you have. You can't fix that kind of stupidity. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out and uh, wash all these panels. I don't know if I do that in this wind, but <laughs> definitely gonna, when the wind stops, I'll uh, put that as a priority. Get out here and uh, I usually just fill one of those yellow pails, those uh, kitty litter pails, about halfway with uh, some Dawn dishwashing liquid or, or even uh, something else I found that works really nice is uh, Finish. It's uh, the dishwasher soap and um, glasses to keep it spots off of glasses and stuff like that when you run your dishwasher. So if you mix that in there and you give them a good wash down and then a good clean rinse, they, uh, they shine. They, they really look nice and it, it really helps take all that dirt away and doesn't leave water spots on the, on the uh, glass. So I actually have one of those sprayers they advertise on TV you put on a garden hose and you can shoot water like 34 feet in the air and wash your windows and your screens at the same time and they sell you these crystals that they put in there. And I've come to realize that the crystals that they're selling for an outrageous price is nothing more than finished dishwashing um, powder. So there you go. All you do is put it in the, uh, in the holder, let it uh, dissolve. And then when you want to dispense the stuff, you put your finger over the little hole, you spray them all, take your finger off, and then just water comes out and gives them a fresh rinse. Uh, that's it. All right, everybody. I'm going to go inside and uh, crack a cold one and uh, get ready to make my dinner. I wonder if I should barbecue my banana splitter. Uh, oh, God. That was sad. Sorry, I didn't mean to be that dumb. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sorry I haven't posted for a couple of days, but this is the stuff we're putting up with. And of course, losing a hen. Um, Angel, my favorite, uh, what the heck, you know, uh, just said, just didn't feel like shooting a video about it. Anyway, I'm all out of water down here, except for that one's half full, and I use that one to water the mulberry trees, and they all need water, so as soon as the sun sets, I'll get out here and do that, and I'm just going to connect the main garden hose to the cabin, and I can take some water down from my big tank up there, because I still have almost a thousand gallons left in there so I don't think uh, using a hundred or 150 gallons of it to soak the garden down will hurt all right everybody thanks for joining me don't forget thumbs up down there and don't forget to subscribe down there this is G Bear signing off